Aromatherapy for anxiety. How does it work? Is it real? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I publish weekly videos on mental health education and self-improvement. If you don't want to miss one, click subscribe and notifications. Aromatherapy is the practice of using essential oils to treat illnesses or promote relaxation. Essential oils are taken from plants and you can use many parts of the plants, including the flowers, the stalk, the, the bark, the roots. And these oils are usually mixed with another substance, such as a base oil or an alcohol, and applied to the skin. They could be sprayed in the air or inhaled. You can also put it into a diffuser without mixing it with any other oil and then inhale it in the room. Many massage therapists will use it as a part of a therapeutic massage. Aromatherapy has been around since the early 1900s, so this isn't something that's new. Here's the connection between inhaling oils and, have it, and it having an emotional impact on you. The nerve in the brain that controls your sense of smell is called the olfactory nerve. The end point of this nerve is in your nose and it runs to the back of your nose to your brain. The part of your brain that connects to it is the temporal lobe. Well, it just so happens that the temporal lobe has the hippocampus and the amygdala. The hippocampus plays a role in memory of past experiences. The amygdala is the emotional center of your brain. Why would something you smell affect your brain? Because the essential oils contain volatile organic compounds that exert a pharmacological effect when they penetrate the body either through your skin or through your olfactory nerve. Volatile just means that the oil can vaporize and become a gas. So the oil of these plants are made up of molecules that can be absorbed through the skin in oil form or through your nose as a gas. By inhaling these molecules, you send them directly to the emotional part of the brain. This is why inhaling gases and fumes is a big deal. There's a direct pathway from your nose to your brain. Now, not everything you inhale has molecules that have a pharmacological effect on you. So I don't want you to get worried about everything you smell, but inhaling things is a faster route to affecting your brain than eating something. Because when you eat it, it has to be digested to then get into your bloodstream. And your bloodstream is like the highway to take things to your organs. But a gas can be absorbed directly by the nerve and have a straight shot to the brain, bypassing the blood highway. It's like being beamed aboard, if you're a Star Trek fan. Certain oils are known to be more activating versus sedating or relaxing. And here are a few, but I'll have a longer list in the description. Some popular essential oils that are used to promote relaxation are lavender, sandalwood, clary sage, and Roman chamomile. A study from Wesleyan University in 2005 showed that the study subjects who were exposed to lavender experienced an increase in slow wave or deep sleep. I think that's pretty cool. How can you use aromatherapy to relax? Aside from using a diffuser, you can put a few drops of the oil on a cotton ball and sniff it, or you could put it under your pillow if you're trying to go to sleep. If you're wanting to use it, for a massage, I wouldn't recommend putting the oil directly on your skin as some people are sensitive to it. Even if you can't get a full-fledged massage, you can massage your own feet with the oil by using a carrier oil such as jojoba, olive, or, or coconut oil. These oils are safe to put on your skin and you can mix a few drops of the essential oil with the carrier oil to then put on your body. Another application is to put a few drops in your bath water. I'll have some references to some studies in the description of the use of aromatherapy and how it affects your senses. Like this video if you like it and leave me a comment or question if you have one. Take care. See you next time.